Slipknot are, in our opinion, the most important metal band of the past 20 plus years. For those of you not old enough to remember, when Slipknot released their self-titled debut back in 1999, the musical landscape was a desolate place, filled with terrible new metal and rap rock. What it needed was a shot in the arm, and Slipknot provided that, along with a massive kick in the balls as a chaser. Since then, they've gone on to release some of the most important records to ever grace the world of rock and metal, but in 2008, Slipknot did something odd, even for them. They recorded two albums, but only released one. The record that saw the light of day was the killer All Hope Is Gone, but the one that stayed under wraps was called Look Outside Your Window. Look Outside Your Window is rumoured to be a drastic change of pace and style for Slipknot and is said to be as experimental as you can get from any band, let alone one known for their brutal sound. As each year passes, its legend grows, and as each year passes, a release date for it comes and goes. This year is no different, with Look Outside Your Window penciled in for an April debut, 15 years after it was recorded. But do we really need it? Would it live up to the expectations? Well, no, according to Corey Taylor, who recently told the NME, Look Outside Your Window is Clown's Baby. Slipknot is Clown's Baby. I punch a clock and then I punch out. It's so funny, every year or two I get an email about Look Outside Your Window and how it's coming out. I'm just as stoked as everybody else because, dude, I don't even have a copy. I have a version from 10 years ago, and I don't even think it's the same mix that they're dealing with. I don't even know the songs are going on this album. That's how out of the loop I am. He continued, I was a guest star on that album anyway, so your guess is as good as mine. It's so fascinating that something that started out as a demo has become the holy grail. If you only knew how that album came about and the pain it caused, I hope people dig it, but I honestly hope it never gets released, because there are so many expectations about it now. It's like that Wu-Tang Clan album that only was his face as a copy of. It's almost better to just wonder. Now, as huge fans of Slipknot, of course we'd love to finally get our hands on Look Outside Your Window. As Taylor pointed out, it is the holy grail of Slipknot recordings. So what self-respecting Slipknot fan wouldn't be salivating at the prospect of finally getting to hear whatever madness lies within? Having said all that, however, we would never go against anything the neck ever says, and do feel he might have a point. Maybe some things are best left to the imagination, and maybe look outside your window should just stay on the shelf. (laughs) 